Good morning. I'd like to talk about, uh, propose a protocol, IP over web Avian carrier. And uh, I use a lot of IP over Avian carriers as specified in RFC 1149 and later um, extensions of the protocol. And how that works is that I have my IP datagram, I write it on a scroll of paper, uh, put that on the leg of a homing pigeon, um, I own a couple of them and then send it away and uh, the homing pigeon finds the destination and then you can read the IP datagram again. Um, some limitations of the protocol, the MTU, the maximum transmission unit, depends on the carrier strength and the length of the leg of the, of the pigeon. However, climate change changes our weather and when the weather changes, homing pigeons uh, get into trouble and I had a lot of reliability issues lately. Um, storms and raptors are haunting my pigeons and thus harming my datagram transmission. In general, um, IP over every young carriers is not really up to the task for today's um, challenges, so we have limited bandwidth, we have high latency. So I was looking for a solution to that problem, and the solution is web every young carriers. And I figured out they are the perfect medium for IP datagram transmissions. So IP over web every young carrier is a link layer protocol that fits nicely into the stack. We don't have to change many things there. Uh, some, uh, a little bit about the medium. It has medium properties that are advantageous to us, and there are some challenges in the medium. Let's talk first about the good parts. Uh, the medium has uh, relaying. It's technically not, not necessary, but it adds a certain weight to certain IP datagrams, and it's basically that the, that the link layer has a hive mind and can uh, mark messages that are very important to more nodes in the network by um, relaying them. Some nodes in the network also strive for authentication, actively giving up their anonymity. Um, and this is what we call node verification, and this is marked on the link layer with a blue check mark. There are some challenges to that medium. Um, one very annoying is automatic error connection. Some nodes engage heavily in error correction activities. Um, error correcting datagram messages usually start with yes but or well actually. Um, and are often not, not very politely formulated. Um, error correction activity is believed to correlate with having little or no meaningful relationships with other humans. Um, this applies to the humans running those error correcting nodes. In general, the link layer medium um, suffers from Godwin's laws that applies. Addressing on the medium is super easy. Uh, we just take the layer three addresses and convert them to so-called hashtags dividing each octet by an underscore and adding the prefix length. The wire format is uh, also very simple. Um, it is not binary safe, that medium, so we have to base64 encode the AP datagrams and then add the address to the end um, via a hashtag. So does it really work? Uh, yes, it does, better than my slides are scaling. Um, this is the world's first IP over web every and carry up transmission, which took only something below 12 seconds, which is a huge improvement for me um, compared to my homing pigeons, which sometimes take weeks or days. Um, here is a, a PCAP of that transmission. Um, you can see the echo request and uh, the echo reply. You could descramble them if you like. The full specification and the reference implementation is available on my blog. There's also a video of the world's first IP over web area and data transmission. Um, check it out. I think it's the link layer medium of the future. Um, my name's Dan. Have a great Congress. Thank you.